One of the ways the monks on Caldy raise money to fund their order came as a bit of a surprise to me. They make their own chocolate. So today, I volunteered to help out. Here we are in the heart of the chocolate making business on the island. I'm here with Jade. Jade, tell me, how do you make Abbott's Choice chocolate? Well, all the ingredients is imported to the island, which includes the milk, the sugar, the cocoa butter and the cocoa mass. Then it's all put into this machine here, which is stirred, and then the temperature gets risen up, then brought back down. Then the next step is the tempering machine. Which is uh, that delicious looking thing over there. Wow, this looks amazing. This is the tempering machine where we reduce the sugar crystals in our chocolate. And why would you do that? So that when the moulds are placed into the conveyor belt, the chocolate is set in the correct temperature for when it's moulding. So when it's taken out of the fridge for cooling, we can break the bar and check that the temperature is correct. Pouring is next. The moulds are placed on the conveyor belt, which you can see moving along here. Then the scraper scrapes off all the excess chocolate. Then it's placed on this tray which vibrates. Why would you do that? Because it reduces the air bubbles in the chocolate. Okay. Then once all the moulds are put through, they are placed in the fridge to cool, then they are taken out and the last step is wrapping the chocolate. So how many of these would you wrap in a day? We aim to wrap around a thousand bars a day. And how many do you make? Around two thousand. Two thousand? So that's like ten thousand in a week. Can you only buy them here? No, we sell it all over the UK and Europe, and we sell it in our coldy shop in Tenby as well. Right. You do this much, but look, I'm, I'm a disaster at this. Tell me, though, um, do you ever lick the bowl? I wish I could, but no, I don't. Do you ever sneak a bit? Let's just say it's called quality control. <laughs> yeah, I think I would, I would definitely have to sneak a bit if I were to. And I'm not doing this very well for you. Do you want to try some? Oh, I would love some. Thank you. Extra dark? No. Extra dark for me. Okay. you've enjoyed our visit to Caldy Island and Tenby. Next week, Alid meets some magnificent men and women in their flying machines at the famous Eastbourne Air Show. 500 years after the Reformation, Pam discovers how these events changed Christian history forever. And continuing our outdoor summer praise, we have open air singing on the prom of Eastbourne, led by Lou Fellingham. Until next time, 
Goodbye. file visits Cornwall tonight at seven. The next here on BBC One, their little princess has chosen her husband and mum and dad are less than impressed. The green fairy tale continues in Shrek 2. <laughs> <laughs> 